Okay, this tutorial is on preserve transparency. What preserve transparency allows you to do is to only paint or only manipulate uh, images that are on a specific layer. Uh, so in other words, anything that is transparent, um, in this case, anything that's white on this image, um, you're not gonna be able to draw on whatsoever. Um, so in other words, if I don't have this on, you can find Preserve Transparency um, just right on the uh, the Layers menu. Uh, you have Preserve Transparency and Pick Up uh, Underlining Color. It's right above Pick Up un Underlining Color. Um, if I don't have that clicked, and right now it's not clicked whatsoever, and I'm just working with an airbrush here, um, basically it's going to allow me to draw anywhere on this canvas or anywhere on this layer. If I have that clicked on, you can see it's only allowing me to actually draw on the images that I have on this layer. So it's a really easy way of uh, doing masking work, basically. So let's say if I wanted to do some detail on the, uh, uh, the claw of this bird, I'll go ahead and zoom in there. Let's say if I wanted to put like a shadow underneath this guy's uh, claw, and uh, I was afraid that I wasn't really going to have the uh, hand-eye coordination to really kind of get in there and do that detail without, you know, going, you know, over to the uh, to the white canvas here. What I can do is just, you know, make sure I have preserved transparency on, and I can just go ahead and kind of get, you know, that little shadow in there and not have to worry about kind of, you know, painting uh, outside the edges there. Just to show you how you can take advantage of this function, I opened up an earlier illustration um, that was still kind of working on. Um, and I'll just go ahead and zoom in on this little robot bird here. So I've just zoomed in on this little robot bird, and what I'd like to do is to put a, kind of a splatter effect, uh, kind of like an old corrosive uh, green oxide splatter on this uh, exhaust pipe from my little robot bird that I created. Um, and to find this layer, because I have so many layers here and I haven't really done a good job of labeling them, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little icon here, uh, auto select layer, make sure that's actually clicked on. And then I'm just going to go ahead and touch the image that I want to play around with and you can see right away it kind of uh, jumps to that layer. It's a really nice way of uh, finding things when you're as disorganized as I am. So if I were to find the layer that this guy was on, I'll go ahead and click on him, and you can see it automatically uh, jumps to this. I actually labeled this uh, mid-ground birds, even though I don't have the D in there. I'll go ahead and uh, jump back to this guy. And now what I'm going to do, um, just to show you how you can really take advantage of the preserve transparency, I'm going to try to do what I just described with it off. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to brush. And I'm going to pick a kind of a greenish oxide kind of color here. I'm on variable splatter. And I'm just going to kind of lightly dab some little splatters on here. And you can see right away I already got some uh, brush splatters on my, uh, my background there. So I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And this time around I'm going to have preserve transparency on. So go ahead and click that, get the little check mark there. And now I'm going to go ahead and basically repeat the same process. And you can tell right away I'm just getting that splatter on that actual image itself. It's not getting on any other transparency from that layer. And so let's say if I wanted to maybe do some darker strokes up here, I could do that with no worries whatsoever. Um, and let's say if I wanted to kind of reflect some of this nice blue color into the bird, I'll go ahead and switch to a digital airbrush and make my little brush a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the little color selector and select this color and switch back to brush. I wanna make sure my opacity is very, very little, just like maybe number nine. Now very lightly, I'm gonna reflect some of this kind of lighter color in here. And you can see I'm not hitting the background whatsoever by doing this. I'm just hitting the image itself. And so that's basically it. Um, it's a really easy function, but I, I use it constantly when I'm painting digitally.